I'm back. Uh, my computer decided to do a hard crash on me. Like, restarted and everything out of nowhere. Uh, I don't know what's going on with my computer, but I hate it. God dang it. See, I'm also recording this because I'm going to re-upload it to YouTube later with better quality. All that footage I just did past two hours for recording, gone. Can't use it. It's done. That's fairly upsetting. Yeah, it's pretty... <clears throat> God, I'm angry about that. Oh, well. Let's move on. Good timing, Commander. I was just about to bring us into the Citadel. See that taxpayer money at work. Flagship of the Citadel fleet. Well, size isn't everything. Why so touchy, Joker? I'm just saying you need firepower, too. Look at that monster. Its main gun could rip through the barriers in any ship in the Alliance fleet. Good thing it's on our side, then. Citadel Control, this is SSV Normandy, requesting permission to land. Stand by for clearance, Normandy. Clearance granted. You may begin your approach. Transferring you to an Alliance operator. Roger, Alliance Tower. Normandy out. Normandy, this is Alliance Tower. Please proceed to dock 422. This is an outrage! The Council would step in if the Geth attacked a Turian colony? The Turians don't found colonies on the borders of the Terminus systems, Ambassador. Humanity was well aware of the risks when you went into the Traverse. What about Seren? You can't just ignore a rogue specter. I demand action! You don't get to make demands of the Council, Ambassador. Citadel Security is investigating your charges against Seren. We will discuss the CSEC findings at the hearing, not before. Captain Anderson, I see you brought half your crew with you. Just the ground team from Eden Prime, in case you had any questions. I have the mission reports. I assume they're accurate? They are. Sounds like you convinced the Council to give us an audience. They were not happy about it. Seren's their top agent. They don't like him being accused of treason. Saren's a threat to every human colony out there. He needs to be stopped. The Council has to listen to us. Settle down, Commander. You've already done more than enough to jeopardize your candidacy for the Spectres. The mission on Eden Prime was a chance to prove you could get the job done. Instead, Nihilus ended up dead and the beacon was destroyed. That's Saren's fault, not his. Then we better hope the CSEC investigation turns up evidence to support our accusations. Otherwise, the Council might use this as an excuse to keep you out of the Spectres. Come with me, Captain. I want to go over a few things before the hearing. Shepard, you and the others can meet us at the Citadel Tower, top level. I'll make sure you have clearance to get in. And that's why I hate politicians. Nice. Okay. So this place is huge, just saying. Important locations are marked on your map. Follow the pulsing arrow on your radar to the Citadel Tower. Okay. And look at this place. Holy shit. That's really cool. Big place. Big place. I can't tell the aliens from the animals. Well, that's racist. Oh, shit.
Captain Hendrickson reported some unusual energy readings during a patrol of the Argos Row Cluster. She had particular concerns about the Hydra system, but was recalled before her team could investigate further. No patrol are scheduled for that sector. Do we want to send the recon team? Okay. Ooh, body, this shit's big. These allegations are very serious. I can't just... This is serious. My reputation is at stake. I spoke with the consort in confidence, and her alone, and she betrayed that confidence. All right. I will look into it for you. In the meantime, do not do anything rash. You know what these guys remind me of? That one race, alien race, in a Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. The bureaucrats. Wait, what? What, what in the hell? What type of men in black ridiculous bull is going on here? Okay then. Hi. How are you doing, my friend? Pleased greeting. Human, it is always good to see your kind. Yeah, it's not true. I am Ambassador Kalen. Genuine query. Is there something I can do for you this day? Why do you explain what you're about to say? Our people communicate less through words and more through scent and slight movements. Plainly, we discovered our vocal expression was not enough to convey the feelings of our conversations to other species. Why do you bother, Kalen? These Earth Clan don't really care about our ways. Remorseful response, Din. You don't truly believe that. And if you do, I am very sorry for you. Damn. Tell me more about your species. Genuine enthusiasm. I delight in telling the history of my people. It is agreeable to share our culture with others. Okay. Tell me about the history and origins of the Elcor. The Elcor were just beginning to explore Council space when the Asari first made contact with us. With their help, we discovered the relay closest to our system, and from there the Citadel. Proudly, within one lifetime we established a regular route to the Citadel, and quickly became one of the more active species living on this great station. I'd like to know more about the culture of the Elcor. Frankly, we Elcor prefer the safety and familiarity of our own colonies to the confines of space travel. Our society is built on small, tight-knit groups. Though we are always welcoming to outsiders, our government tends to be very stable. Our people are not very comfortable with sudden changes. What do you do here? Modestly. I work to bring the problems and the requests of the Elcor groups to the attention of the Council. Ha! They only give us these positions to keep us quiet. The Council doesn't care about our races. Chastising rebuke. Your tone is inappropriate, Dan. This human is not to blame for your malcontent or your misconceived suspicions. Damn, you let him know. Tell him. Goodbye, Ambassador. Sincere farewell. Good day to you, human. Enjoy your time on the Citadel. Let's chat with this asshole. Earth Clan, you are in the wrong place, I think. Your ambassador is next door in the large office. Chastising remark. Don't be so rude, Dan. At least introduce yourself. <sighs> I am Din Korlak, Volus Ambassador. 
Is there something I can do for you, Earth Clan? What is this place? You are in the embassy for the Volus and the Elcor. Your ambassador is next door, in his own office. In this shared space, I aid my fellow Volus when I'm not being interrupted. Damn. I'd like to know more about the Volus. I'm sure our history and culture would bore you, Earth Clan. Actually, I would like to know more about your history. My people came to the Citadel shortly after the Asari and Salarians had discovered it. We were instrumental in establishing a standardized galactic economy. However, despite our long association with the Citadel and our many contributions to galactic society, we still do not hold a seat on the Council. Tell me about Volus culture. We are tribal by nature, but our ways are not violent. We barter and trade our lands and tribe members in order to increase status. And tribe members? Larger tribes often engulf smaller ones and eventually split again. Our society is very malleable, and our government is always shifting and changing. Since we're not physically adept, we trade our services for protection. Makes sense. What is it you do here? I look out for the best interests of the Volus people. No easy task considering how often we are overlooked by the Council. Chastising rebuke, Din. The Council favors your species greatly. You are naive. The Earth Clan will be invited to the Council long before our species will. Why aren't the Volus or Elcor part of the Council? All species must prove themselves before they join the Council. All but the Earth Clans, it would seem. Dismissive. Ignore the Volus Ambassador, human. He is incorrect in his assessment. Really? How long have we been waiting? How long do you think we'll continue to wait? Bah! This talk is wasted on the humans. It is not wasted. You're a little bitch. You seem to have a bit of a chip on your shoulder, Din. You humans are new to the Citadel, and yet the Council has granted you great favor. <sighs> Chastising rebuke, Din. Your species has always been granted many concessions. Volus territory has expanded tenfold since coming to the Citadel. <laughs> Details. We still have no real say in the decisions that affect Citadel space. Goodbye, Ambassador. The little guy's yes, kind of a yes. dick. Good day, Earth Clan. What about Hello you? there, human. Sincere apology, but I am here on business and cannot be distracted right now. You seem distressed. Is there something I can do to help? Alarmed response. You overheard that, did you? This is all going so wrong. And it is the Asari Consort's fault. She's the one who started all this. Who's this Asari Consort? Curious. You have not heard. You must be new to the Citadel. Everyone knows Shatyura, the Consort. I cannot speak more about this problem. It is too sensitive. Suffice it to say, she has compromised my authority as a diplomat. Where can I find the Sasari Consort? She is across the bridge from here. Her offices are easy enough to spot. Good day, human. Okay. That's where I was, right? This is where I was? Yeah, this is definitely where I just was. Don't know where to all go. I probably can't even get in there, can I? No, I can't. So I go this way. How's everyone doing? 
Uh, sure. Greetings, and welcome to the Presidium. My name is Avina, and I am pleased to be your virtual guide throughout this level of the Citadel Space Station. Virtual guide? What does that mean? I am a fully interactive virtual intelligence, programmed to provide spontaneous guidance at predetermined locations of interest throughout this level of the Citadel. I may also be contacted through any of the Presidium VI terminals, should you require assistance. Give me the tour. You are standing at Presidium Tourism Terminal 1. On either side of this lobby are the embassies of the various Citadel races, along with CSEC headquarters. On the far end of this level, you can see the Citadel Tower, where the Council meets regularly to discuss matters of interstellar importance. Well, there's a lot here. I want to know more about Citadel security. Citadel security serves as law enforcement for all regions of the Citadel, <sighs> though the majority of officers serve in the wards. Executor Palin, a Turian, is the current head of CSEC, but individuals from virtually every species across Citadel space serve as officers beneath him. If you wish to learn more, Executor Palin's office is located in the CSEC headquarters just across the lobby. Well, I'm sure I'll head there. Tell me about the embassies. Each species in Citadel space important enough to be consulted on matters of galactic politics maintains an embassy on the Presidium. The Volus were the first non-council species to be granted an embassy, roughly 2,384 galactic standard years ago. Damn. As Citadel space has expanded, more embassies have been added. The most recently added embassy belongs to your own species, humanity. It was added 19 galactic standard years ago, despite some rather vocal opposition. Okay. Why were people trying to keep my species out? Some species felt humanity was given preferential treatment. It often takes a century or more before a new species is granted an embassy. The Council gave a great deal of thought to this matter. In the end, they decided humanity's impact on Citadel space was significant enough to warrant an embassy. Okay. Do you agree with their decision? I am not programmed to make that kind of qualified judgment. My code is limited to information and simple interaction simulations. Okay. Why were people trying to keep my species out? Some species felt okay, the yeah, read that. gave a great deal of thought uh, to this shoot. matter. In How the come the Bolas were the first species given an embassy? In the early years following the formation of the Council, the Volus were, apart from the Asari and Salarians, the most populous and widespread species in Citadel space. They established many new colonies and trading outposts, and they petitioned the Council for a greater role in determining interstellar policy. In recognition of their work to expand interstellar trade and establish a standardized galactic economy, the Volus were granted an embassy here on the Citadel. Why weren't they made a Council race? The Council races have extensive responsibilities. They must provide personnel and ships for the Citadel fleets. They often provide economic aid in times of disaster. It would be unfair to demand such an enormous burden of a species unable to meet these obligations. Damn. The embassies allow lesser species to have a voice on the Citadel. Lesser species? Throwing shade out here. That's pretty damn arrogant. I apologize if my personality has offended you. Please submit all formal complaints in writing to the Citadel Tourist and Visitor Board. Hey. Tell me about the embassies. Each species in Citadel space important enough to be consulted. Yeah, I've already done the that one. The most recently okay. added embassy belongs to your own Spectres. species. Do you know anything about Spectres? The term Spectre is derived from the branch of Special Tactics and Reconnaissance. Each Spectre agent is hand-picked by the Council. Their primary role is preserving galactic stability and resolving volatile situations that cannot be handled through normal political channels. In this role, they are granted extraterritorial rights and jurisdictions. Spectres answer to no law or authority except the Council itself. Okay. What can you tell me about the Citadel Council? Originally, the Council consisted of representatives from the Asari and Salarians the two dominant species in Citadel space. Roughly 1,304 galactic standard years ago, 
Turians were invited to join the Council in recognition of the role they played during the Krogan Rebellion. Since then, the three Council races have worked together to ensure the peaceful coexistence of the galactic community, while preserving individual autonomy for each species. It can't be as simple as that. There must be problems somewhere in the system. I am not programmed to make that kind of qualified judgment. My code is limited to information and simple interaction simulations. Okay. I've asked her all that. Log Goodbye. Off. Goodbye, and thank you for using Avena. Please enjoy your visit to the Citadel. Well, we're going to do a quick look around here, see what we can find. What do we got here? To the CSEC uh, Academy? Okay, fair enough. To the Citadel Tower. Well, let's go around this way first. Oh, I can chat with you. Good day, Commander. The human ambassador is up the stairs, first room on the right. You know who I am? Yes, I receive reports on all newly arrived dignitaries and notable people. Okay. What is this place? This is the Presidium. More specifically, you are at the Citadel Embassies. If you have more questions, please access Avena. What's that? Oh, Avena is the virtual guide for the Citadel. Feel free to access the terminal yourself. We've already had the pleasure. What's your name? What do you do here? My name is Sephiria. I'm the administrative assistant for the embassies. Ow. You seem to be distracted. The embassies are the hub of all Citadel politics. <laughs> when you represent trillions of citizens, it tends to get a little busy. Damn. I imagine it does. I should be going now. Have a pleasant day. Level up! An interesting level up uh, sound. we at now diplomat I can't believe I landed a job here this place is fantastic <laughs> or codex stuff hell yeah dude these things are creepy but also really cool hi human delighted welcome it is good to meet you it is good to meet you I like those guys those guys are cool like, this is where I came in, right? Yeah, that's where I came in, so let's go up this way. Man, I'm about to get lost in this place. Hi! Let's chat with you. Commander Shepard, I didn't expect to see you here. Did Ambassador Udina send you? Have we met before? No, but I know you well enough. I'm Executor Palin, head of CSEC. It's my job to know when someone like you arrives on the Citadel. Someone like me was at me. something you needed, Commander. Attitude towards humans. I get the feeling you're not too fond of humans. No, I just don't trust your kind. Not That's yet. fair. You humans are eager to take all the power you can get. And you're being given a lot. If the Council wants to make humanity their new favorite pet, that's their business. But I don't have to like it. That's fair. The Council treats us like second-class citizens. We have to fight for everything we get. Good. Then fight for it. But don't expect the rest of us to just sit back and let you take it. I'm a busy man, Commander. Are we done here? No, we're not. I I'm still talking to you. Rude. What do you know about the Spectres? They're the right hand of the Council, or so they like to be called. More like the underhanded side of the Council. Damn. What do you have against the Spectres? I can't abide any organization that considers itself above the law. Especially when it's left up to each individual specter to decide when and how to bend the rules. I like this guy. Sometimes you have to bend the law to keep people safe. I've been with CSEC for 30 years. I've never had to break the law to do my job, not once. Yeah, right. You expect us to believe none of your officers are corrupt? There are over 200,000 CSEC agents. Some of them are going to be bad. But we don't turn a blind eye to corruption like the Spectres do. We do our best to find and punish any officer who breaks the law. Spectres. 
They'll never come under that kind of scrutiny. I like this guy. The galaxy needs people like that. People who do the dirty jobs. I agree. But they need to be held to a higher standard. They need to be accountable. Saren's out of control. We both know that. But because he's a Spectre, the Council doesn't want to do anything about it. Is that the kind of person this galaxy needs? Nope. But not all Spectres are like Saren. True. But the potential is always there. Okay. I like this guy. Tell me about CSEC. CSEC provides necessary police and security services throughout the Citadel. We're a civilian government agency, though many of our members have had military training. Of course, as the CSEC representative to the Council, I spend most of my time liaising between the two. Tell me about your investigation into Saren. Sorry, Commander. I don't make a habit of giving out details about ongoing investigations. Okay. I'll be going now. Goodbye, Commander. I don't hate him. I like that guy. I hope he won't mind if I snoop in his computer. The following message was transmitted from an untraceable account to multiple recipients across the extranet. Further monitoring of the situation is warranted. My fellow Biotic, you have been selected to receive this transmission because of our shared plight. If you understand us, if you, if you or tolerate us, we must stand together, we must build our own new world. Come join us in the Hawking Eta Cluster. Only as one body can we right the wrongs done to our kind. Interesting. Okay. Dude, look at this place. This place is so sick. Alright, so that's the C sec place. So that must be me right here. Okay, I got it. Let's go this way. Hi! How's everyone doing? Hanging out? Chilling? Well, look at you. This place seems strange. I wish there were more humans around. Damn, that's rude. Don't believe the rumors. The consort would never reveal her secrets. Of course she wouldn't. She'd be tossed out the nearest airlock if she did. Uh, I suppose. Besides, Nick, the consort's nothing like the girls back on the colonies. <laughs> she's... She's... You don't have to do it with her. You can just talk to her if you want. Is that all you did, Jazz? Just talk? I didn't say that. Ha! I bet you did too. Shut up, Fredericks. What do you want? Oh, Commander. Rude! Is there something I could do for you? Relax, Private. This isn't an inspection. Right, sorry. What can I do for you, Commander? What can you tell me about the Asari Consort? I, uh, well, she's an Asari who works here as, that is, she helps people with things. You never went to see her, did you, Fredericks? I, uh, <laughs> no, I never did. Uh, I couldn't afford it. It costs half a year's credits just to go in and talk to her. Can you at least tell me where I can find her? Sure. She's across the bridge from the embassies. Thanks, kid. Have fun. Try not to get into too much trouble. I will. Have fun, that is. I would have fun that is. <laughs> that guy, oh my god. Look at you. I don't have time to talk now. I'm very busy. You don't look busy. Hello, Commander. Can I get you something? You know who I am? Your arrival uh, created a bigger than average stir among the diplomats and hangers on around here. There's always something new happening around here. I could fill you in on some points of interest if you'd like. What's going on around here? Well, you found the embassies. Not much going on here. Across the bridge, you'll find the bank, the Emporium, and Shaira's. If you haven't heard of her, you soon will. If you need supplies, you can try the markets one level below. For entertainment, I'd try Flux or Cora's Den. Okay. What is Shaira's? 
The consort? Uh, she entertains clients who can afford her services. Most of the diplomats and ambassadors have visited her at one time or another. She's a very powerful woman, but also very respected. What type of entertainment does she do here? Tell me about Flux and Cora's Den. Well, Flux has gambling and dancing, certainly more lively than this place. Cora's Den, on the other hand, well, let's just say it's livelier and deadlier all at the same time. My kind of place. Goodbye. So long, Commander. Have a pleasant day. All right, so that's that. I'm right up here. Another one of these bros. What up, my guy? What are you guys doing? You're all creepy as hell. That's a CSEC headquarters. I don't want to go there, so we want to head down this way. Open says me! Open the door! Okay. Use Citadel Rapid Transit to travel quickly between major locations as you explore the Citadel, more locations will unlock. Okay. Financial District. Okay. Look at my map again. Holy shit, this place is huge. Guess let's just keep heading down this way. Oh, what's that? Ah. This place is awesome. The game looks good too. It's like very, very pretty. What's over here? What do we got here? Leads to the wards where you will find Cora's Den, Flux, Markets, and the me Medical Center. Okay. I don't want to do that yet. Still roaming around, still searching around here. Awesome. Look at that bug thing over there. What's it doing? Please do not disturb the keepers. The keepers? Welcome to Presidium Tourism Terminal 2. You are standing near the base of the Citadel Tower, one of the Presidium's most recognizable and important structures. Behind me is the Spectacular Relay Monument, a scale model representation of a Prothean mass relay. To your left is one of the Keepers, the enigmatic caretakers of the Citadel, working on a control panel. You may see Keepers involved in various tasks throughout all levels of the Citadel. We ask that you do not interfere with them in any way. The Keepers are essential to the smooth operation of the Citadel. Obstructing their daily work will result in harsh penalties, including incarceration and rehabilitation. Rehabilitation? Tell me about the Relay Monument. Discovered by the Asari who first arrived at the Citadel, the Relay Monument is one of the station's most interesting and controversial features. What is the meaning behind this striking piece of art? Is it a tribute to Prothean vanity? A reminder of their conquest of the galaxy through mass relay technology? Or perhaps it is a symbol of unity? A Prothean acknowledgement that the relays would eventually lead other species here to the Citadel. No one can say for sure, making the relay monument a favorite topic of discussion among academics and scholars. 
Okay. Tell me about the Citadel Tower. Housing both the Council Chambers and Citadel Control, the tower is one of the most important buildings on the station. Access to these areas is restricted to those with the appropriate clearance. What happens in Citadel Control? Citadel Control handles all incoming and outbound transit. Every ship within 2,000 kilometers of the Citadel is under the jurisdiction of Citadel Control. At peak capacity, they are responsible for monitoring upwards of a thousand vessels. Damn. I'd like to hear more about the Council Chambers. The business of the Council, which often has far-reaching effects on the galactic community, is conducted in a room at the apex of the Citadel Tower. The Council Chambers themselves are truly a magnificent sight to behold, though few get to experience the view in person. Typically, only the counselors, ambassadors, and high-ranking officials, along with various support staff, are allowed access. What if someone has business with the council? The average citizen must go through the proper channels if they wish an audience with the council. This is usually arranged through their respective ambassadors. Even then, few are given access to the actual council chambers. In most cases, the Ambassador acts on behalf of the Citizen. Okay. I'm scheduled to have an audience with the Council. Only a handful of visitors to the Citadel are ever granted that privilege. I would be jealous, but that is outside the scope of my programming. <laughs> I'd like to know more about the Keepers. Little is known about these peaceful servants of the Citadel though they are essential to the operation and maintenance of the entire station. Citadel regulations protect the Keepers against interference during the performance of their tasks. Failure to comply will result in harsh penalties. Keepers can be seen in all sections of the Citadel, but are typically found in and around the tower. Okay. Any particular reason there are so many Keepers in this area? The Keepers do not communicate with other species. It is assumed, however, that the tower houses the Citadel's primary control systems. Many of the station systems, such as navigation and life support, function automatically. It is believed the Keepers operate those systems from inside the tower's inaccessible core. The Keepers also make frequent appearances in the Council Chamber itself, though they appear to be just passing through on their way to some other destination. Okay. Interesting. That's all for now. Thank you for using Avena. Have a pleasant day. Very interesting. I mean, I will have a pleasant day as long as I don't crash anymore. Damn, look at that. Purdy! How old is this game? I know it's pretty old, like pre-2009. But it looks good. I don't want to go into you yet. What is this? Ah, human. This one is greatly pleased to see you here in my decadent emporium. Who are you? This one's face name is Delaninder, though many in this place simply refer to it as Delan. Please take time to examine the fine goods it has for purchase, all of great worth. Okay. What exactly do you sell? Only the finest and most luxurious items that credits can buy. This one is able to procure almost any item the human would desire, for a price. Naturally. Naturally. Why do you refer to yourself as this one and it? For the same reason that humans are so inquisitive. It is part of our culture. Specifically, Hanar only refer to themselves in the first person with family or intimates. And we rarely do so with other species. It is just our way. Okay. 
That's fair. Who are you? This one's face name is Delaninder. Though many in this place simply fair, you already got that. Please take time to examine okay. the fine goods it has for purchase. All of great worth. Show me your items. Oh, this one is pleased to do so, human. You will not be disappointed. Oh. Standard items? Serta Foundation License? For the Normandy Quartermaster. I mean, it's only a hundred. Let's buy it. Okay. Go back from that. I want to look at your other stuff. Commander, it show me your items. Oh, this one is pleased to do so, human. You will not be non human. Rogan, Turian. Interesting. Okay. Commander, show me your items. Oh, this one is pleased to do so, human. And then upgrades. Prow upgraded grenades contain a small, whatever those words are, condense what that word, a mass of supercooled subatomic particles. Well, that's interesting. Fires larger rounds for more damage. However, the rate of fire is slowed, and the weapon will overheat more quickly. What's it for? Can these be used on any weapon or a specific weapon? Must be just normal weapon. Microprocessors wired into a combat suit can monitor vital functions and release small, localized doses of Medigel to accelerate the healing process. Ooh. How much is it? 700? Take it, because that thing is awesome. You know, we'll just buy that as well because it's only 70. Cool. Thanks, bud. Uh, equipment. Let me see. Grenades right here, right? Yep. Over here. Alright. Holy shit. Absolutely, man. And then here. Some enemies use jamming technology to block your weapon radar. Aha. Uh -huh. Go ahead and just get rid of a bunch of this crap that I don't want. And from you, put that on it. Good. Here you now. Okay. Well, let's go to you first.
to gen uh, generate kinetic barriers. Sure, why not? Nice. I like that. That's cool. Journal. Okay, and then assignments. I guess these are mostly what, like side quests? Head to the sentry systems in the Hawken Etta cluster and investigate the strange biotic commune. Yeah, these are like side quests, because I just got all these. Cool. Codex. The Elcor, the the Volus are a member species of the Sith. The Asari were the first species to discover roughly 1,200 years. The Citad the Council is an executive. The Citadel is an interesting ancient, humanity's first. The Systems Alliance is an ind. The Terminus Systems are located on the far side of the Mako Infantry Fighting Vehicle. Oof. The stuff that I haven't. Uh. Biotics is the ability. Element mass relays are. If you don't know me, then hard I have to get rid of this stuff. Come kinetic. Have to. There we go, and then squad. I have six points. Is that shield boost, adrenaline burst? Assault rifles. Well, no, eh. Uh... I can't do anything there. do that. Do you. You. You have four points. Barrier. Sure, why not? And then electronics. There we go. And you have four points as well. Go for some pistols. I didn't mean to do that. I don't want to lock the son of them. That's fine. Just keep it. I don't care. Do a save real quick. Beautiful. Alrighty then, y'all. I'm actually gonna go ahead and take this time to end the stream right here. I'm gonna. What the hell was that? But yeah, I'm gonna end the stream right here. I'll probably come back here in a little bit and do some more. But I want to go throughout my computer, see why it crashed so hard not too long ago, because that's going to result in a massive headache for me. But what can you do? I can't do nothing about it. Um, can't wait to keep going on with this game. It's actually a lot of fun. I can't believe it took me this many years to finally play it. But I probably wouldn't have played it unless the remaster came out. So that's awesome. If you guys enjoyed the stream, then please come back later on and uh, chat with me some more. But if you guys are watching this on YouTube, I greatly appreciate all of y'all. If you wouldn't mind, leaving a little like button down there, leaving a comment, tell me what you think, and hit that subscribe if you guys like what I'm doing. 
But until next time, I hope every single one of you guys has a wonderful day.